How's it going, folks? So I'm going to give my after-match reaction to the win today against Dunfermline. Jesus Christ, what a mad game of football. What a mad game of football. Um, the fans, a lot of fans left early. I think it was only, only like 20,000 fans that had done, done Celtic Park today. There was a, a banner as well from the Green Brigade saying that the board are gambling with 10 in a row. Um, downside in Celtic, it's just, it's it's absolutely crazy what's going on at the club at the moment. The last 10 days has just been absolutely chaos. But I'm going to talk about the game. I'm going to talk obviously about our fans and what they think and then what's the what's the plans obviously for the next seven days as well because it's just absolutely mental what's going on. So Johnson scored today, James he scored and Gordon conceded a goal against the Pars as well. We had 36 shots on, on target. Well actually 30, 36 shots, 11 on target. If we had 36 shots that would have been amazing having them on target. But anyways, 11 on target, 23 corners, 64% possession. Yes, I am reading off a piece of paper because I looked up the stats as well. I did watch the game. I, I, I got to see the second half of the game and then extra time as well. So um, just, I don't know what to say. Like some of the players, like this is a team, full, basically a few players taken out of the squad. Brown obviously not playing. We played 4-4-2 with Griffiths and Edward. That didn't work out. The boys didn't score. Edward looked frustrated. Tried everything. Nietzsche was shooting from everywhere to try to get a goal. Wasn't happening from Christy looked frustrated today. He tried his don't get me wrong, Christy had a I thought Christy had a good game. I know he didn't score, but he had a good game. He just kept battling away and battling away. And Beaton, I thought Beaton wasn't bad, considering a lot of people have criticised him lately. He wasn't bad. Al Hamid wasn't bad. Jamesy wasn't bad at all. Obviously, Jamesy got the winner for us. That, that boy is just an absolute hero he is. Um, Callum McGregor was abs average today. I'm very surprised because he had the captain's armband. I was expecting good things out of him today, considering obviously having a bad performance against Clues during the week, but it wasn't his day for it. But look, there's no point pointing at this player. As I said in previous videos, I was saying, this player is shy. That player is shy. The board, at the end of the day, the board haven't invested properly into this squad. Now, there was a guy there today, a Republic of Ireland international, that's meant to be coming to us. I previously played for Southampton as well. So, that hopefully that line, hopefully that gets us over the line. But defensive-wise, we're going to get absolutely mauled left back. Bongoli had to come off. Hayes had to come on. Now, don't get me wrong. Johnny Hayes had a good game when he came on. He looked up for it. But, it's just, it's it's absolutely terrible to watch. Like, and I'm dreading during the week against AIK. I think, as I said, I'd rather us out of Europe, but I think we're going to get mauled. And I don't like to be negative about this, but the way the boys are playing lately, there's just, you could see there's something going on in the background. Between It's affecting the boys on the pitch. Whatever this negativity with the board, it's 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 playing a mindset on them. And obviously losing a leader in that dressing room, Kieran Tierney, has affected us big time. As much as we took the money, the parachute money is gone. Is gone. They're not. They can't see Celtic investing in players before this window closed. Decent money, like a four or five million defender. Like look at Julian. Julian was awful today. I still have high hopes that he's gonna be a really good defender. Was he's gonna do big things at this club? But he wasn't good today. Obviously a howler to give away to the Paris goal, but we're not gonna put the blame on Julian. I'm not gonna put the blame on him. I'm gonna put put the blame on the team. They just weren't critical. Like they're a better chance of scoring in a brawl than today because literally eleven shots on target, thirty shit thirty six shots altogether. That's not good enough. This is the team that's in League One. League One in Scottish football. Like their developing squad, if you would have put them out today, they would have done a better job. It's not good enough. And I understand fans are frustrated. I'm frustrated. I'm pissed off. But the most important thing is we did get over the line. The treble is still on. I still have faith. And I have faith in Neil Lennon. And as much as people are going to laugh and say, what the fuck is he saying? He has faith in Neil Lennon. Because the guy delivered. He got us the treble. He got us the treble. He's the one that started this 10 in a row. I feel sorry for him. I feel sorry for the amount of people that are against him. You know, give him a chance. It's only what? Two games into the league, a cup game, 
we're, we're basically on a second tier of European football. As Chris Sutton said it, we're a Europa team. We're lucky to even get into the Europa at this rate because they're going, it's going to be tough. It's going to be really, really tough to get past this Swedish side home or away. And a lot of fans are saying we should, they should boycott the, the stadium. But look, at what's the point of boycotting? Because the, fan, the, the board are not going to step down. No offence, I don't think the board are going to step down. I don't think Lawwell and Desmond are going to se- step down. I don't think Ian Banker is going to listen to us. I honestly don't think. You, you could boycott it. The Green Bay could boycott it. It could be down to 10,000. They're still not going to listen. Like There's talks that they're meant to be putting up the ticket prices for the Europa League game. That's not good enough. Like Celtic fans, our season ticket holders, should be getting this priority. Should be getting a discount for the conversation that we've lost. Of not getting into the Champions League, you know, Celtic have money there, and it's not being spent carefully. It's being pocketed, and it's not good enough. It's not good enough. I've said it last night. I'm still back in Neil Lennon to do this job. I know people are gonna be like, "No, Keith, you're wrong. You're wrong." Like, who else is gonna take the job? Realistically, who else is gonna take the job? We have what a week and a half before the transfer window closes. It's not giving them enough time. And I'm sure if Lenny does stay on in the next couple of days, which I think he will because he's, he's a strong character, stays on. If, if we do get beaten by Rangers and Oibox, oh my God, the, the jury's going to be out again. They're going to be all out saying, get rid of him. He's not good enough. But was it going to be a stage that John Kennedy is going to take the reins over for a couple of months until we can re- resource someone? Like, if I was to look for a manager that's good enough for Celtic, it'd be Eddie Hale. I've said it before, Eddie Howe, young, enthusiastic, doing good stuff with Bournemouth. I think he's the right man for Celtic. But look at Hayes done well when he came on. Done Firmin. They they were up for it. Fair play to him. I hate giving them the opposition a bit of respect, but they travelled well, they played well against us, they looked up for it, and they nearly caused a shock. It's embarrassing. Absolutely embarrassing. This is the team in Scotland. This is the highest team team that have won trebles, rebels, we should be smashing them. Like, people were saying to me last night, oh, what score, what score is it going to be, Keith? I'm like, oh, well, I think it could be a scrappy game. And it was a scrappy game, but not with predicted extra time. Like, look, the book is cleared up today. Absolutely cleared up with this extra time prediction stuff. But what can you do? Like, Shaved wasn't picked. Shaved wasn't picked to come on and do an impact. Like, this is the lad that's highly rated in Ukrainian football, and he's not getting a sniff at Celtic. Boyo didn't get a sniff today. Like, what? why are we resourcing these players and they're not getting a sniff? Like, poor Julian, as I said, he had a bad day, but we could have needed him the other night. And Bangoli, like, what the hell? Look, at, I don't want to be slating Bangoli. Let the lad settle in. But at the same time, we're getting mauled at the left-back situation. I just think, to be safe, I'd play Johnny Hayes until we can actually get someone that can play left-back. None of this attacking philosophy and can't defend for the life. It's just awful. It's awful and it's horrible to see what happened today. I know we won. I understand that we did win. But sometimes champions win, growing results and stuff. But going to extra time after a European disaster, it's not good enough. Simple as that. But that's why I always said, I'm back in Neil. Crazy people say, what the fuck, Keith? I'm still back in Neil to do it. And I hope he proves, I hope he proves majority of the fans wrong. And I understand there's fans out there that are frustrated that I left early, are ranting on Twitter, they're ranting on Facebook. Like I'm ranting right now. It's acceptable. It's acceptable. But some people go over the top with it, which is too much. Too much, you know. I think sometimes people put say awful things just to get the attention. And that's understandable, you know. But what can I say? I'm posting the video up. Looking for a bit of fucking views and a bit of attention, so I can't say much, you know. But um, I hope you've enjoyed it. Give me your honest opinion. Look at if you disagree, me think Lenny goes. I understand. I can I completely understand where you're coming from. Um, you think that was just an absolute disaster the last ten days. Let me know. Let me know what do you think has to change. Is it the board or is it the manager? It's a need to be more signings. We need to do a clear out. Let me know what you think. It's about Jews. This channel is about Jews. So subscribe, enjoy, hell, hell, and get a few drinks into you and enjoy the rest of the evening. We're still up for treble. Hell, hell.